Hey everybody, Shufunk here, and just want to remind you that this video will be very long because it's a review as well as me doing some fun stuff based on the mod that I'm reviewing. It's done in one take, it's unedited, unscripted, so if you want to skip to the fun part, go ahead and click on this annotation below. Other than that, let's get started. So, right now, we're looking at the Caterpillar mod pack, which happens to be uh, a truck with two trailers as well as a dolly, which you need the dolly to even hook up the trailers to each other if you want to have more than one, obviously. But uh, it's a pretty good mod so far. Um, Caterpillar, if you're not familiar with them, is a construction based brand uh, where you see a bunch of like bigger tractors and trailers and stuff with the Caterpillar logo stuff on it. I've hardly ever seen a truck and trailer like these um, in real life but it is pretty cool to see in this game. If I'm wrong forgive me I'm not very familiar with their overall you know catalog of stuff they have so anyway the uh, truck itself is pretty good it's got close to about uh, 1200 or so um, things of, of gas and uh, you get a top speed of 46 the acceleration is pretty good um, seems a little slow at first but it catch, catches up around 30 and then goes faster and of course I was going to the curve there so um, you can see why I went a little slower but um, it's got a very faint backup sound. You can't really hear it. But um, other than that, it's you know if you just like the caterpillar look, um, it's not a bad mod to have. Now the actual truck itself has some pretty neat features. It allows you to lift the cab to see the engine. and uh, that's pretty much the only feature <laughs> uh, everything else is pretty much the same um, for anything else that you might have that's natural in the game so yeah the actual trailers here or the uh, tippers this one has a logo I've never seen before I believe it's their newest logo where this one right here is the one I'm used to seeing a lot. The particular dolly here just matches the color, has just a little small version of the logo on the side, and they all have Folda um, or Cross Force tires on them. Uh, the actual functionality of the particular trailers acts like one of the vanilla trailers where it has a conveyor belt and all it does is the door opens and it pushes this stuff out from the back to the fr I mean, from the front to the back I guess you could say and uh, that's how it unloads as for the loads themselves it holds about a hundred and seventy thousand tons so uh, with two that's three hundred and forty thousand tons so yeah it's pretty impressive I think that's about right <laughs> if I can do my math right anyway uh, naturally you want to do two you can do more than one pretty up, much up to you if you have a truck that's better than this or at least with the horsepower you might be able to pull more than one I mean more than two um, I haven't really tested it yet so later on in this film um, I will be that's now four. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for this review. It's pretty fun, like I said, if you're a Caterpillar fan and uh, or you just want to have some more trucks and stuff in the game, this is the mod to download. The download description is below in the comments, not the comment section, in the description section, and uh, that's you'll be able to download this. Now for the fun part, we're going to get in this 
Dodge Ram. And we're going to head to the house and get into it. This Dodge Ram itself is a mod of its own, obviously. I'm going to possibly make another video based on this mod, but it's my drive around truck. It goes too damn fast. The max speed is 83 miles per hour. <laughs> Here's the day, here's the train. And, uh, yeah, this is gonna be crazy. I cheated in some canola, at least 1.5 million tons worth, so I know that should be enough. If I'm not mistaken, this is about 750,000 tons, but, uh, yeah. I also made my money almost down to zero. But uh, with maintenance going on every once in a while, um, my money's now 100, negative 129, but that's not a big deal. Alright, so, line it up right here, start filling, canola, start. So like I said, I believe it's 750,000 tons per cart, which I know that for a fact doing it times four let's just say that's a lot <laughs> um, during my initial test of this mod I only did two trailers and uh, I know how much it can pull with two trailers but I never did four and this is the fun part I'm kind of curious how much money I can make, so that's the reason why we're doing this. Oh man. The coolest thing about this game is how easily you can cheat. <laughs> I was able to edit my um, save file of ease and to give myself a lot of money just to buy all the stuff from all the mods that I've downloaded and play with them and then I actually edited it so I can have more stuff in the silo and uh, all that good stuff so yeah <laughs> gotta wait love the wait don't we Now it's pretty obvious as I have four carts, it will sh be full at 25%, and we are currently at 16. Gotta yeah, remember, it's about 170,000 tons. If you're really bored by watching me fill up this first one and don't feel like watching me fill up the rest of it, uh, you can go ahead and skip with this link below to the part where it's actually full. But for now, I'm going. I got all day. Do you? <laughs> Alright, that should be almost 25%. Oh, okay, so it's 175,000, not 770. Anyway. Oh. I'll be sure to make sure I said 175,000 when I edit or when I upload the video. Yeah, Caterpillar, you don't see that a lot near where I live. Not a lot of construction going on, or at least I'm not driving on the highway as much to notice it. But it is pretty well known. I knew they were a Los Angeles based company. So, like. 
video games and stuff that have a, a Los Angeles based area of the game like Grand Theft Auto. Like, I know it's San Angeles and they got parody names, but like they actually have Caterpillar in the game, but like a different name, obviously, but very similar logo. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Can you imagine getting all of this though? Cause I'm actually bought all these farms and I put canola on 16, 17, 18, and 11 and 10, but I didn't do 11 somehow. I guess I was running out of time the other night uh, when I was getting all this stuff, and then. Um, When I was at work earlier, you know, I usually play this game while I'm at work, I was harvesting. And I was literally harvesting the whole shift. And I only was able to do all of 16, all of 17, and I am not even halfway done with 18. And I was like, oh man, it's going to be a while. There's got to be another way of getting more canola, and that's when I learned, oh, I can edit the actual save file to give me more canola. <laughs> Alright, this is almost cool. So with the strength that I have, the pool, I know I'll be able to pull at least two trailers full. But how much I'll be able to pull or four, I'm not sure yet. Here we go, moving up some more. And come on. She can be an option there it is. Canola, bam. Now I like to say, if you've been watching this video since the beginning and you're at the now, I thank you. Thank you for being so loyal to watch this video for as long as you have. Of course you can easily troll me and just go ahead and skip ahead, but oh well. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. But I try to make this video as unique than others because a lot of people pretty much pre-set up their recordings way too much and it's not as realistic when it comes to showing off things and uh, I could have made it even longer and purchased all this stuff and show you how to hook it up but that's pretty self-explanatory I pre-set up certain things and then did a recording to make this a little bit shorter <laughs> so gotta think, give me credit for that right 60% and what was it? Roughly 25, 26% per, which is kind of weird. It would be 25. 50%. We're getting close to the 50,000 marker. I'm sorry, that's 500,000 marker actually. I'm loving how uh, my daily maintenance is going through slowly throughout the day with all the stuff that I have. It's not even funny. Now it looks like the front part of the cab is bobbing a little bit. I can barely tell. I was noticing some bobbing earlier, but it stopped doing it.
Oh, and yes, I have it in real time. If I was put, playing this game in fast forward mode while filling all this stuff up, my potatoes and stuff will be fully grown and withered by the time I fill all this shit up. <laughs> uh oh. Come on. Don't tell me. There it goes. Last one. Start. I was worried the last one won't be in place. And plus, I got limited space to turn after I start going, so. Yeah, I'm glad there's no cars that pass this road. So, the only reason I chose canola for this test because I know that canola is usually at a very high price no matter what, naturally. So, um. I'm not going to go far, obviously. I'm going to the out to the flour mill and uh, sell it there. So by the time this is full, we'll see how much it's worth at the flour mill when we get there. So we'll know what to expect to get. Now I know we got negative $214, but we're going to make a lot of money. So it doesn't really matter how much it was before we started. <laughs> And if you're one of those people that are precise, we can easily just do the total minus whatever it was at the time of start, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I have my cat sitting on my knee right now watching me record, and his claws are digging into me. It, like, hurts. All right, looks like we're at what eighty-five percent, six hundred thousand tons at eighty-five percent. You gotta think about it. This filling up time, I guess, is about as long how long it takes to fill them up in real time. Even though I am playing in real time, ha ha! Nah, that was a that was a semi joke right there. But seriously, I think uh, it takes about this long to fill up a truck in real time, in real life. So this is pretty realistic in a way. But goddamn, getting all of this um, bar I'll say, I'll say barley, getting all this canola naturally as you can say I struggled just with three and my third one was just as big not even halfway done harvesting and I hardly ever harvested one of them We're almost full should stop at 700,000 tons if I calculated correctly. long journey with the 700 tons of food colors is sure anyway is it red should be red yeah it looks a little bit of orange to me kind of matches the interior <laughs> alright 700,000 tons of canola alright here we go I'm gonna zoom out so we can see how we're driving that should be good enough here we go Struggling a little bit so far. Our top speed's 46 miles per hour. I can't remember how much um, horsepower this thing has, but I know it's up there. Doing pretty good so far. 
and we're sort of on a hill too, so that's the main issue we'll have. How far out I can zoom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, I got the different types of trailers. And it looks like, yeah, see how it's just a little bit hilly right there? So we're struggling a little bit. We're going four miles per hour. We're going to make it, though. Which spray that we got until the. Okay, we've got a while. We'll make it eventually. Don't you wish there's a fast forward button so you can fast forward through this part? Well, we could skip through and to a certain marker, but eh, that takes the fun out of watching. Oh, we're going down a hill. Here we go. Turn. Oh, I'd be damned if I tipped over. <laughs> Look at all that fuel I've consumed. Oh, that's funny. Here comes the truck train at the train station. Sort of. This is a flower mill, but it looks like a train station to me. Alright, here's the turn I hate. No matter what I'm driving. Well, looks like you made it at ease. Alright, so this is going to be a little tricky. Zoom in a little bit, or if I can zoom in at all. Oops, too late now. Can't see it. <laughs> well, we'll try to zoom in on this one when it unloads so you can see what it looks like. Come on. See the conveyor belt moves a little bit and it starts unloading. And the way it's unloading is unrealistic. But yeah. That's pretty much it. Go to the next one. And that's $433,000 just after two. Oh, come on! There it is.
Alright, last one. Whoa, it's struggling. The struggle is real. Can we get to the last area? Oh my god. Get above that one small section. Allow me to unload. That sounds wrong. All right. So end up being eight hundred and sixty-six thousand dollars, and what we failed to do was see how much it was originally per ton. Let's see. Oh, looks like canola's gone down. That's why we didn't get a lot. Let's see here. It was originally twelve hundred dollars. Amazing how much money has changed because um <laughs> the money changes around throughout the game and I didn't think it would be that low. Oh well. So there you have it folks. Eight hundred sixty six thousand dollars for seven hundred thousand tons of canola. They're fun. Now going back to your you know base whatever is not going to be hard. Now that we're empty, you can see that you can go pretty fast. Maybe your top speed if you're lucky. <laughs> That's playing the box again. Cats love boxes. You can see how it can go as high as one as forty six, so that's pretty cool. Go up the hill here, didn't struggle one bit. <laughs> Look, here's the sort of unfinished area of Panola. He stopped right there waiting for me to get to him. Alrighty. So there you have it, folks. The caterpillar. The caterpillar train. Well, I thank you for watching this far if you have. If you haven't, shame on you. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. And I'll hopefully put some more videos of other reviews. They won't be as long as this one, though, so don't worry about that. Till then, catch you later. It's Shifunk signing off.